that last little bit of daylight. Oh, fuck. I think I'm close to the trail. Alright, uh, I just made out to my hunting area. It is a solid drizzle. I'm not debating if I should even do it. I don't know. I talked to a lot of hunters, they said they haven't seen anything. Only one or two and they're soaking wet and cold. It's 45 degrees right now, look at it. You see the hills, hazy. It says the weather's supposed to get better, so that's the only thing that I might do. I got my bike. I'm gonna bike off, so I'm gonna walk. What the heck, I'll do it. I'll keep you updated, see if I get anything. All right, I'm at the, at the trailhead. Uh, Try to get it all in one backpack, but I have to use two, so I have to bike with two, but it'll be fine. Uh, the weather still says it's supposed to be better, but uh, it's still misty, cold. I don't know if I'm, it's just, it probably stayed home, slept in bed. I don't know, I think I'm making a poor decision here, but we'll see what happens. All right, little update. I hit too much sand with for the bike. So I'm gonna leave the bike here, but I'm a little farther than I usually go, maybe a quarter mile farther. Um, so I've never been this far in this path. We'll see what come, happens, what's up ahead. Um, just so you guys know, it usually takes about 45 minutes to get to the spot that I enter the woods in. And I, I just timed it, I pedaled slow in low gear, just slow, it took my time. It was about 16, 17 minutes it took me to get to my spot, so. With a mountain bike at this distance, um, you probably save a half hour coming out and save a half hour leaving. So you get an extra hour of hunting by just throwing a mountain bike into your car. I've been following a deep, deep canyon. I'm trying to stay at elevation so I don't have to go up and down. I finally got to the end of it, the point where I have to go up a lot. So I was almost gonna, almost gonna cross at this tree bridge right here with all the white mushroom on it. But then my common sense got the best of me. And I decided to walk a little farther up and I found that it flattens out. I'm able to cross here. So far I saw two gray squirrel that I nearly got, but they made it back to their nest before I could get them. And then a red that took off right when I lined up for a shot. It's wet, but the clouds are supposed to clear. It's supposed to dry out a little bit, so they'll be out. I'm still looking for that cemetery. I'm kind of Having troubles with that. Where was the squirrel, I think? All right, I've been hiking for about an hour, two hours now, and I came across a ridge. There's a little valley just loaded with squirrels that are running everywhere. First place where I just dynamite, dynamite spot. So I found a neat little rock here. That's it. Up, I'm gonna set up against it, break up my profile. Hopefully, I'll get a couple. Some of these shots are gonna be 70 yards, I think. I'll show you the valley quick. Hopefully, today will be my triple. We'll see.
here I lined up on a squirrel and that was 55 yards and I, you'll, you'll see what happened. <coughs> I thought if I would have coughed, he would have looked up, looked around, I would have had a shot, but no, he just took off, completely off, and I had to wait for 45 more minutes for him to come back. Here he is coming back. After 45 minutes when he came back, he was the exact same spot that I lasered at 55 yards, but it was a substantial angle downward, so I actually turret dialed it for about like 47 yards, and watch what happened. Just my best shot ever. 55 yards across the valley. Wow. Alright, little update. I just shot a red squirrel at 20 yards and then a gray squirrel way out of 55 yards. I turned dial, dropped him cold. Oh, I think I got it all on film. Anyway, I do not see no fox squirrel, so I'm gonna have to move. All I see is a gray, so I got one red, one gray, and I'm cheetah fox. And I gotta find the cemetery before dark. All right, I'll get moving. Look at that. Now that is why this valley is just completely loaded with squirrel. There are walnuts everywhere. All right, let's look for this red. Shot a big red. It's passed up in a bunch of small. There it is. Perfect, I haven't touched it. Perfect shot. Absolutely perfect shot. I'll keep the same film rolling. I'll get the gray. This red is about 30. This gray. Oh my God, look at this deer path. This is uncharted territory. This whole valley full of squirrel. Let's see where I got this gray one. Yeah, it's like 55 yards. It is Oh my gosh. Alright, it's 345. And I was squirrel hunting right right here. But I want to get to my bike, so I'm going to go up on top of the ridge and walk down. My bike is right about... I was squirrel hiding this ravine is where the acorns are, and the cemetery is down here. But my plan is right now is just to walk up here, walk along this ridge, and walk down to my bike. My bike is right here. Let's see what happens. Oh my gosh, I did not know this place existed. I had no clue that. Um, I think my bike is somewhere down there, but this is a straight cliff. I'm not gonna be able to get down there. Look at this view. 
I thought I could walk down there, but that is not going to happen. It's slippery, wet, one, one slip. I could be rolling down this. There's so much free hunting land here, man, that nobody ever gets to because they hunt right by the road. See this road? The car is parked next to the road. And those people all take the same path. They hunt the same spot everybody else hunts. And they don't get anything. How am I going to get out of here? Well, here's a path, it looks like. All right, I just slid down this uh, face of this ridge, steep ridge, and I realize I'm at a point of no return. I have to go down. I can't even have a try to return, but I keep slipping back down. So I just got to edge my way down. Look at this one little small deer path is rarely used here. The deer can go here. I'm sure I can, maybe. Deer aren't goats. I just slid straight down from there. It's starting to flatten out a little bit. Nice view. If I can just slide on my butt the rest of the way, I think I'll be fine. All right, I'm back on the bike path. Back from the, just scaled the top of the cliff. I went up there to see if look for red squirrel. I mean, uh, fox squirrel, didn't see any, except one gray that I could have got, but I'm after fox. So I scaled the mountain just to get back down the bike trail, and this is the end of the bike trail. It just disappears. It was an old logging trail. There it is, and just flattens out to nothing. And the cemetery is right, right on the other side of those two ponds, I believe, a little farther. Again, I don't want to scale a mountain and walk in the dark. What am I going to do? Too steep. I believe it's way too steep. If I can stay right on the edge, maybe. I'll see if it flattens out in there on the edge. Alright, there's a small wildlife deer path. Small. Right on the edge of the swamp in the hill. I'm going to skirt it, see if I can get to our destination. It's going to be dark by the time I get back. I'm continuing to skirt this little path. It's turning into nothing. Daylight's I'm losing daylight. It's probably against my better judgment, but I got my adrenaline going. I can make it all the way back. The heck? I thought this would be it. Let me check the map again. I'm looking for the cemetery. I'm gonna go back down. I believe uh, there was a, a road that was supposed to have taken me there. Damn. Little pat. I'm. Gosh, what am I going to do? It's getting dark and how much light daylight left. <clears throat> I have to call it quits here. Somewhere in this area. I don't have all day to look for it and I can't get lost when it's just close to dark. I just don't know why I can't find it. I've been looking for some uh, weird looking rocks sticking out of the ground. I don't see those. <clears throat> the guy at the gas station was telling me about an easier way to get here, so I might just do that. I just can't seem to find it. There's some vehicle path, and I might have crossed it. I found an old logging path on my way back to the main bike path that I was using. It might have been the path leading to the cemetery. Bummer. Alright. Ah, oh, 
crap happened again. Kind of twisted my ankle, went slow, and I'm in that last little bit of daylight. Oh, fuck. I think I'm close to the trail. It's not the first time I spent the night in the woods. <laughs> Damn it. Well, maybe I'll get my uh, fox squirrel tomorrow morning when I wake up. <laughs> fuck. All right, quick update. I made it out of the woods. Um, another uh, walk with my flash on my phone. I didn't have a flashlight with me. I took it out of my pack during a power outage and never put it back in. And I needed it. Luckily, I had my phone and still had 40% battery. So I used that for another 100 yards, walked through the woods. Could tell I could still could tell where I was because of the uh, shadows, the outline of each hill. I could see that I was close to the path. And then I found finally found the bike path that disappeared in the swamp. And then from there, it was easy. Just took me a while. Long, hard day. Now I'm at the liquor store buying beer. So I just have to get drunk after that one. Have a good one.